going on people welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV back with another transfer talk video um, I thought I'd start today's video a little bit different um, Aliko Dangote the Nigerian billionaire the richest man in Africa has announced today that he wants to try and buy Arsenal this year um, he's made a statement saying that him and his team will try and buy the club um, in 2020 he said uh, he has already approached Stan Kroenke previously about buying the club and says that he will try and make an attempt to buy the club again this year. And, you know, overall, I've said many times, if you've watched my um, previous videos, that I think the club need to go in a different direction. And I think ultimately getting Kroenke out the door and getting an owner in. Um, just reading here, he said um, previously, my aim is to buy Arsenal and make huge investment. Um, which is something that we need. We need to change the way we move in the transfer market as a football club. I think we show a lack of ambition. We move like a mid-table club at times. And I think we desperately need new owners now. If he was willing to come in and splash the cash. I've said before that Usmanov was a huge opportunity for Arsenal Football Club. Um, and we missed out and he left the club. And I think we need to really push, this is push the issue as a fan base. For Stan Kroenke to be removed, I don't think he's the man to take us forward. I mean, can you imagine if we had the Manchester City owners, where we would be as a football club, considering, you know, where they started and where they are now. Um, so I think that's something we need to look at. Hopefully something develops on that. Um, when it comes to the transfers today, there are not a lot in terms of transfers coming in. Um, but in terms of going out, it looks like Skodra Mustafi could finally be out the door. Um, his agent is flying to Turkey to negotiate a transfer to Galatasaray. Um, Arsenal looking for a permanent deal. I think it may possibly be a loan move with an option to buy. Um, he does have a high wage of um, around £85,000 a week. So I don't expect um, Galatasaray to just necessarily buy him. Could be a loan with an option to buy, but we need to get him out the door, get his wages off the books. Um, we paid £35 million for him from Valencia. Um, he had a big reputation over there in Spain. I remember when we first signed him, he had a good partnership with Koscielny. And he's completely gone downhill. And I would actually say he's one of the worst defenders at the club at the moment. Um, he's been terrible. He just he seems to, you know, he plays well for 70 minutes and then just makes a mistake and lets it all down, really. Um, so the sooner he goes, the better. That will save us some wages as well. Um, the other one is Mavropanos. Um, it looks like he's set to go to Nuremberg on loan in the Bundesliga. Um, Mavropanos, when we signed him, he looked a bit of a talent, but it really hasn't happened for him. Uh, suffered injuries and, you know, can't really get any form going. And I think a loan, he needs a loan. Um, he needs some football and hopefully that will help him. Um, no option to buy on him as well. They want um, They want to bring him back. So he'll be there until the end of the season, get some regular game time, bring him back. So I think that's a good thing as well. Um, so best of luck to Mavropanos out there on loan. Obviously, Smith Rowe left earlier in the week. Um, John Jules. It looks as if Eddie Nketi is going to go on loan as well. He was set to go to Bristol City. He's been linked with Nottingham Forest as well. Um, but they're now saying Dean Smith is interested in taking him to Aston Villa. Um, personally, I'd love to see Nketi get a move to a Premier League club. Um, says here Dean Smith is looking for a striker at Aston Villa and would be interested in um, Eddie and Ketia. So let's see what happens with that. Um, that could be a good move for him. In terms of transfers coming in, as we said, um, Callan Oglu, who was linked with yesterday, although some sources around Milan are saying that they will not allow him to leave on loan. It would only potentially be a permanent deal and Arsenal not looking for that. So that one. Cabaselli again, who we spoke about yesterday. Apparently Manchester United looking at him as well. 28-year-old only has a year left in his contract this summer and could be available for quite cheap. Um, as I said yesterday, let me know what you think about Kalinoglu and Cabaselli. Would you be happy with them? Um, the Jerome Boateng links there again. Apparently AC Milan looking at him. According to people around Bayern Munich, they're desperate for him to go before the end of the month. As I said, £180,000 a week is now their third or fourth choice centre-back. Um, I've said personally I'd take him on loan until the end of the season with an option to buy. Um, as I said yesterday, Thomas Lamar as well. Wolves now favourites to get him. Um, and apparently Chelsea as well heavily linked with him. So, you know, looks like Arsenal are, are not in the running for Thomas Lamar. 
Um, as you may have heard now, Blood Brothers yesterday, we lost the final quite heavily to DTFC. Um, I managed to score, but you know, it wasn't the result we were looking for. Um, you know, I appreciate everyone's support, people who've watched it, and the people who managed to come to the game and support us. Well done to DT and his team. Um, they deserve the victory and you have to be um, gracious in defeat sometimes. This is football at the end of the day. Um, it wasn't the result we wanted and, you know, we have to move on and move forward. Um, so good luck to him as well and, and hopefully our team can bounce back from that. Thanks everyone for your support on that. Keep subscribing to the channel. Um, keep commenting. Smash that thumbs up button. Thanks all for watching. I've had to do this video on my lunch break today. Um, just squeeze it in. Sorry, it's a bit later than usual. Everyone take care, have a good day, keep subscribing, I'll be back tomorrow. Bless.